Hey YouTube and welcome to Imagination Images. Uh, if you're a Batman 1989 fan, then this is the place for you. Um, so NECA released this beautiful grapple gun from the 1989 movie. And with about 10 shots um, after I used it, I uh, had an issue where the string was not retracting anymore. Clearly there was an issue with the string getting tangled up inside the motor or something. So I figured it would have been really, really easy to get it open, but uh, I couldn't find screws that were um, obvious um, anywhere. And I definitely couldn't, um, I didn't want to break it because uh, it was probably about $90 landed once I got it. So, you know, um, <clears throat> I started dig to dig around a little bit. I couldn't find anything online. NECA wouldn't get a hold of me. So, yeah, so what I did is I basically started to play with the black screws that were on the face and um i found that there were two that were basically screw covers the two black ones uh the one on the top right then the one on the sort of top left and was able to unscrew those two so um but i just couldn't figure out how to get it open from that point there was definitely a third screw but couldn't find it anywhere that was obvious so uh here's a video of me cracking it open and um, <clears throat> to basically discover that the third screw was underneath the wire casing right there, that painted wire casing, uh, which is pretty ingenious. And uh, a little bit later on in the video here, I'll show you that you can actually pop it out from the inside, as you see there. But I'm not sure if there's a tool to be able to pop it out from the outside to avoid basically breaking the screw casing. Um, as you see right here, um, the screw is just underneath that gray piece. And um, you can see where my wire is tied up inside that little outside casing there. Um, the wire should go inside underneath that sort of large gray piece. Um, but as I said here, I will disassemble this as much as I can so you guys could take a look. Um, it's a pretty ingenious little device. Um, the way that NECA has designed this is amazing. Uh, the power that it shoots for what it is and just even the speed of the little motor to wheel your grapple line back in is pretty awesome. Um, but, you know, as I said, the, the, the one main issue that I had with this was getting it open without, you know, destroying it. And I was quite lucky. So I'm just going to go through and uh, show you guys some of the components. So basically... You've got uh, this gray plate that goes over um, the spool as well as basically the motor pin. So you can pull that off and the spool will pop out and it kind of sits loosely inside there. Um, and that's to avoid the string from getting break broken as well. There's that sort of fail safe in there. Um, that's the motor and the motor pin. You gotta be very careful when you're removing this that that motor pin does not come dislodged. I actually had to glue it back down into one of the cogs because it had become a jar and uh, it was basically just spinning that spool and nothing was actually, it wasn't actually working properly to uh, retract the line like it's supposed to. All right, so there's a little tiny gray black piece right here that I'm pointing at that had also dislodged um, while I was trying to fix this uh, without taking the cover off, just pulling on the line too hard. That piece had come out and I was able to shake it shake it out um, before I had broken the case off. Um, but it does slip in there very nicely and it's just a guide for the wire. Um, so if you ever run into that problem where this little black piece comes off, I don't know if you can really see it there, but it's like a little uh, rectangular black piece with a slit in the middle that the line feeds through. And it's just to keep the line from getting tangled in any of the other little components here. Um, so yeah, there's, as you can see, there's quite a few springs. And um, here I'll show you again like that. So basically there's the, uh, yeah, there's the head casing there. You can see right there that that piece uh, pops out. As I said, it pops out quite nicely with like a screwdriver head or anything um, on the other side. But I'm not sure if there's a way to pop it out from the face. Because, I mean, that would have made this a lot easier because that was the only screw really that was holding this thing on. I was very, very fortunate to twist it. And when it snapped, 
it didn't cause any damage to the casing at all. Um, it just basically lost the top part of the screw head. And it's a pretty simple fix. Um, I'll just glue this back down um, and uh, it'll be tight. Now, that's one thing that I did notice about the engineering of this as well, is that everything is very, very tight. Um, nothing moves where it's not supposed to move. Um, where the trigger is located, um, the spring on the far right side that you see there is um, basically activated by the trigger. And that pushes this gray piece up, which dislodges the weapon, uh, the spear. Uh, there's a big spring just in here that basically holds that spear in. And that's the strength of that firing mechanism right in there. So basically, when you push the trigger, this gray piece moves up and it pushes that spear out. And uh, it dislodges it. So it's in there and it's clipped in quite tight. Um if you're in here fiddling around, sometimes these springs will pop out. So that's how I said, like, once you put that case back on, that flat facing back on there, um, everything is pushed into place properly so that it's safe and that everything is, is held where it needs to be in order for it to work properly. Um, you know, uh, there's a little picture at the end of this video if you want to take a look, because I did dismantle the front part where the spring is and surprisingly enough it does dislodge in the front as well so just like in the movie where he has um that top piece with the spear in it that comes around on his belt and then he's got the bottom piece that he connects um they do come apart and here's a photo of it right there um there's a couple pieces there so if you end up getting two of these um, and they're for display, you might want to uh, think about doing that. If you guys have any more questions, hit me up on YouTube. I'm Shay from Imagination Images, and I hope I can help you if you accidentally broke this thing.